Hi everybody, we're going to look at optimization, which is down the bottom of the page here. I think it's third lesson in the pack. It's quite nice actually, because we're going to use stationary points to get the best value. So at school, you had questions like it. When you just use trial and error, where you solved it, you use trial and error. But we're going to use differentiation. So we're going to use stationary points and max and min to sort it out. Right, so it says on a building site, a rectangular plot uh, is being pegged out with a rope 120 metres long. So that's telling you straight away that my perimeter is 120. What is the greatest area? So you've got to think about, I can change that, change the dimensions, and I want to see which one the best one is. So at school, you'd have tried different values of, say, X and Y, to come up with the biggest value of the area whilst maintaining a perimeter of 120. So that's a little picture. Run X across and Y up. Right, so the way these work is, they tend to have information for two equations. And I rearrange one and sub it in the other, pretty much. So I know that the area is x, y. I also know that the perimeter is going to be 2x plus 2y, but I've been told that that's 120. Now, because you've been told that's 120, this is the equation that I'll rearrange. So I know that the 2x plus 2y is 120. Now, all I need to do is to decide which one I'm going to replace. And it doesn't really matter. I can replace the x or I can replace the y. We tend to like solving things with x's. So let's rearrange this for y. So if, actually, if I can cheat a little bit here, can I? Because I can't, can I actually just divide through by 2. So I've got an x plus y is 60. And I'll have a y equals 60 minus x. So that y there is we're going to come 60 minus x. So if I sub in, my area will be x lots of 60 minus x. Anything with brackets, because we've not done something called a product rule yet, just expand. So my area is 60x minus x squared. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to find stationary points and max and minute. So I'm going to do dA by dx. So I'm going to do stack point. So that'll be 60 minus 2x. I know it's stationary when dA by dx is 0. Remember, by the a on the left, so you've got dA on the top. X is on the right, so you've got the dx on the bottom. Uh, so what have we got here then? So we've got 60 minus 2x is 0, 30. Now it's in metres that, isn't it? Yeah. So 30 metres is x. Now if I know that, that would imply then, from the 60 minus x, oops, that y is 30 as well. And you might have done some kind of work with that at school, a similar thing. But I wouldn't know now if that's a max or a min, because you don't know, do you, potentially? So I'm max minute. Actually, I'm going to put nature, determine the nature, because that's a saying which comes up on exam papers. So I want to do the second differentiation. So that's minus 2. Now as it happens, it's point, I don't need to sub in a value. I've just got minus 2 out. If it was minus 2x, I'd just sub in the x value. Well, I've got minus 2 out as a value for a second differential. 
So D2A by DX squared is less than zero. Therefore, that's the maximum area. Boing. When X equals 30 meters and Y equals 30 meters. So the dead nice thing is the hard bit is creating the equations. Um, the easy bit is just doing stationary points and maxing them in. Wouldn't it be better? Right, let's have a look on the next page, see if there's another one to do. Oof, I'm going harder though with this one. I might stop it um, and do another one in another video.